and welcome to another video. So, the third game of the day has just ended. Germany nil, Poland nil. Great result for Poland. First nil nil of the tournament. They'll, feel, they'll be more happy with this result, whereas the Germans feel really, really disappointed. They lack a centre forward. They play Mario Gomez in that false line position. Yeah, it's not his strength. I don't think he's very good in that position. And they need to play Mario Gomez there. But Poland deserved this result. They defended resolutely and brilliantly. And it wasn't really surprised soon they could beat Germany in the qualifying rounds of the champ of this tournament. Um, so in the third minute, Goetz, uh, who was poor throughout the game, thought he was thought it was the worst game I've seen him play for Germany. He had Hertz run over the bar after Junior Bratzer whipped across him. Then in the fifth minute, uh, Kroos had an effort which he put over the bar after being set up by Messer Erzil. Uh, Kroos then had another effort which he um, put wide after being set up by Thomas Muller. Uh, and that was really it for the first half. There wasn't really that many chances. It was really Portugal, I'm um, not Portugal, uh, Germany, excuse me, dominating possession and Poland really defending really. Poland didn't really have a shot on target in the first half. Then in the second half they had did have two great chances to win it. In the 40th and beginning 46th minute, Milik had a great chance. Gorzitski, who I thought was fantastic in this game, thought he was man of the match, thought he was brilliant for Poland. Played in a beautiful cross and Milik should have scored but he didn't he headed it wide and it went past Neuer's right hand post that was a great chance for Poland uh, Gertz now had a shot a few minutes afterwards inside the box had to be played by Tony Gross but it was straight at Fabianski Milik now had another great chance the ball was played down the line and Gorzutski again played it into the box and Milik, Milik missed the ball completely he, when he should have hit, hit the target that was really unlucky great chance for um, Poland um, then Ertzel had another chance Ertzel had a chance, sorry um, inside, just on the edge of the box Scherler came on, played it played the ball across along the outside of the area and Ertzel hit a shot and it was tipped over by Fabianski um, and then Gazutski had a chance from free kick which he killed over Noy's crossbar but bar that there wasn't really any other chances as I said, Poland would be happy with this point, whereas the Germans would be annoyed that they haven't won this. Over the piece, Poland could have easily won this game, but they didn't. Um, as I said, Germany don't play with, full, play with a sent forward. They play Mario Goetz as a false nine, when they should be playing Mario Gomez, as he is actually a sent forward. But I don't know what Joachim Love's tactics are there, but I need to improve the argument when he's talking about playing a sent forward. The main group interesting though, going to the last round of games where as Germany play Northern Ireland in the last game, whereas Poland play Ukraine because Northern Ireland is still in this. I don't think they will get through, I think it will be Poland and Germany who go through, but you never know, it makes the group more interesting. It was a good result for Northern Ireland to be honest. Um so yeah, it's a good game, I really enjoyed it. First in the tournament, but it was a good game, I still enjoyed it, as I've already said. Um tomorrow we have three games. At 2 o'clock is Italy versus Sweden. Then at 4 o'clock we have Croatia versus Czech Republic. And then the final game of the day is Turkey against Spain. And I will review those games after the final whistle whistles are blown. I'll give my opinion and thoughts on that. So I'm uploading this video this evening. I'll upload it tomorrow morning as I only do two videos a day as you all know. So, thank you for listening and watching, guys. Have a nice rest of the evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.